In videos before this, we have looked at the addition rule of exponents, which says that if the base is the same, then you add the exponents, and so that's where we added. Then we've also looked at ones where we have to subtract the exponents, and so that gave us x to the power of 2. Then we looked at the power rule, which says that if we have something like this, then we have to multiply. And so what haven't we done? Well, we haven't divided, and that's where we get to when that's what we're going to do when we're busy with square roots and cube roots. This funny symbol here, that's called a root. If I have a normal one like this, where there's an imaginary 2 over here, we call that a square. And if we have one with a 3 over there, then that's a cube root. The reason I mention those names is if you're anything like me when I was in school, I had no idea what those things were called. When people said 2 to the power of 2 or 2 squared, I would sometimes think it's this, or it means that it's 2 to the power of 2. I had no idea. So the funny symbol like that, that's called the root. And if it's just something like 2 squared, well that just means 2 to the power of 2. Just a little side note. And so as we said that when it's just a root like this, there is an imaginary 2 over there. And we saw that out of those, we said that we've already done plus, we've already done minus, we've already done multiplication, but we have not done division. And that's where this comes into it. So we're going to look at the x first. And the exponent rule is going to tell us that these numbers here you have to divide. And it's always the inside number divided by the outside number. So that's going to be 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So it's just x to the power of 1. And then with the y, it's going to be 4 divided by 2. Remember, there's an imaginary 2 there. And so that's going to give us y to the power of 2. And so let's try number 1. So look at that 9. That 9 is not an exponent. And so you treat it like a normal number. So what is the square root of 9? Well, many of you would say it's 3, and that is correct. But if you want to be technical and you want to stick to exponent rules, then you can also do that. We can change 9 to 3 to the power of 2. Then the, this at least has an exponent now. And so what does the exponent rule say? It says we should divide those. And so we end up with 3 to the power of 1, which is just 3. But hey, we said that the square root of 9 was 3 anyway. So however you want to do that. Now we're going to look at the x to the power of 4. So it's going to end up being x to the power of 2, because we say 4 divided by 2. And then y to the power of 8 is going to become y to the power of 4, because you say 8 divided by 2. Now if we move on to number 2. So now we have a cube root, because it's there's a 3 over there. Now the cube root of 125 is 5. But if you don't know that, um, then you might be aware of the fact that 125 is 5 to the power of 3. So we could rewrite it like that instead. And then you can just stick to the exponent rules, which says that you should divide these two numbers together. But you don't change the 5. So then it just gives us 5 to the power of, well, 3 divided by 3 is just 1. And 5 to the power of 1 is 5. Then with the x's, we're going to say 9 divided by 3. So that's just going to be x to the 3. And then it's going to become y to the power of 4, because we're saying 12 divided by 3. Moving on to number 3, if any of you are saying, hey, you can't have a negative inside a root. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking of a square root, okay? Which is impossible, because what times what gives you negative 4? Well, some people might say minus 2 times minus 2. No, that gives us 4, because a minus and a minus is a positive. Other people might say 2 times 2. Well, no, that gives us 4. So this is impossible. But when you have a negative inside a cube root, because there's a 3 over there, that's okay. Because what times what times what gives us negative 8? Well, that's minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2. Because minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. And 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. So you just don't want to have a negative inside a square root. But you can have it inside a cube root. And so we said that minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 gives us minus 8. This 12, we're going to divide that by 3, and that's going to give us x to the power of 4. And then this 15, we're going to divide by 3, and that's going to give us y to the power of 5.